One of the most delightful things to eat in the summer is a juicy, crunchy pickle. Homemade pickles are so easy to make and they're way better than anything you can get in a jar. Let's make them. You can't have pickles without cucumbers. My favorite type to buy are these small pickling cucumbers. They're also called salad cucumbers, sometime in the grocery store. When you're trying to find these small little crunchy guys, you wanna see the ones that are bumpy. The regular old waxy cucumbers you see in the grocery store are no good. And I don't really love these little English cucumbers for this. They tend to just get soft and they kind of soak up that you know, marinade. You can cut them in several ways, just like you see in the grocery store. You can do rounds or spears. We'll do a little bit of both. I cut them about quarter to a half inch thick because we just like to snack on them. They stay extra crunchy that way. If you want them more for sandwiches or burgers, you might want to cut them just a little bit thinner than that. I'm using this top rated recipe from All Recipes. It's so good and it's very close to my secret recipe. I guess you could also do this with whole cucumbers. I've honestly never tried it that way because I think if you expose the flesh, it has more of a chance to absorb the flavors. Obviously, the thinner you cut your cucumbers, the less time it takes for them to brine. The thicker they are, you wanna give them a little more time to absorb the flavor. The great thing about these refrigerator pickles is that you don't have to worry about any special canning equipment or jars. When it comes to the jar, you just wanna use whatever is clean. It does not have to be a cute little fancy jar. I often use just old pickle jars or salsa jars, something like that, that's all you need. Just make sure it's clean. And make sure it doesn't really smell like the salsa or the spaghetti sauce or your pickle will taste like that. First thing you wanna do is just pack your cucumbers into the jars. When they're about halfway filled, I slide in some of the other ingredients. First and foremost, you gotta have some fresh dill. You just wanna stick in some sprigs. This is just a great base recipe, yet you can customize it to your taste by adding in other flavors. Like if you want a spicy pickle, you could slide in some jalapeno here. A Couple sprigs of dill and then a couple cloves of garlic. If you want a really garlicky pickle, you can just add more cloves. I like to go ahead and peel it and then just give it a slight smash that's gonna release the flavor a little bit stronger. And then you're just gonna slide your dill and your garlic kind of in the crevices of the cucumbers. And one thing that's not in the recipe, but I love to add to my pickle recipe, are some whole peppercorns. I just think it adds just a little bit of a bite. And then just keep packing the jars. You can fit in more than you think, because you really wanna pack them in. And if I didn't say this before, be sure that you have washed your cucumbers. Cucumbers are cheap all the time, but especially in the summer. Plus all these other ingredients are just a couple bucks. So you can make multiple jars of pickles for way less than you can buy them. Especially when it comes to refrigerator pickles. They're twice the amount of what you can find on the shelf. So literally what you can buy one container of refrigerator pickles for, you can probably make five or six jars. That's it, they're all packed. That's the hardest part of the recipe. Now we make the brine, so let's head over to the stove. You probably have everything on hand to make the brine. It's gonna start with some just plain old white vinegar. And to that, I'm just adding some water. This recipe delivers a pretty mild, crunchy, slightly sweet pickle. If you like a pickle that's really gonna make you pucker up and you really like that vinegar taste, just increase the vinegar amount. In goes a tablespoon of salt and then a tablespoon of sugar. You've got everything in there to create a nice balanced pickle. We're just gonna bring that to a simmer and once this comes to a simmer, we're gonna stir it and cook it until all that sugar and salt is dissolved. And then we want it to cool completely. If we pour it over while it's piping hot, it's gonna cook those cucumbers and they're definitely not gonna be super crunchy. Once your brine has cooled completely, I like to add it to something pourable so it makes it easier to get it from here to the jar of cucumbers. Since the brine is completely cooled, the longer you let them sit, the better, the more intense the flavor will be. So while they're perfectly fine to have the next day, ideally, if you wait two to three days, it's gonna be perfect. Fill it all the way to the top and then just close or shut. Since we did not go through the canning process, you can't just leave these out forever. They go into the fridge. They're refrigerator pickles. This makes me very happy. I made this batch a couple days ago, so they're all ready for us. First and foremost, we have to do a crunch test. These make the best snack. You can taste everything that is in that jar. The vinegar, the salt, the garlic, of course the dill. They're so good. Not only do they make the perfect snack, you can add them to your charcuterie plates for appetizers, or of course on top of sandwiches or burgers. Pickles are definitely better when you make them yourself. You've gotta try this recipe. It could not be any easier. 
I promise you. Now get cooking. Mmm. It's just good.